How long does it take to get to level 25 in Duolingo? Do these levels mean anything? Let's talk about that. Hi, this is Thomas from Esperanto Variety Show. Every Thursday we have new videos in Esperanto and about Esperanto. And in 2019 we have uh, language learning tips in addition to all that. Make sure you subscribe over here and use the bell icon so you don't miss anything. With my New Year's resolution to learn Spanish this year, I decided it was time to find out. How long does it take to reach 25? I started on January 5th, I believe it was, and started cranking out on testing out on my Duolingos, and I started cranking up through the levels. I had already gotten to level 10 in Japanese. That took me about an hour. I think I did a little under half an hour in the morning. So I have decided to do a quick test. Quick, I don't know how quick it's going to be. Uh, I want to uh, try a, a new language that I have not touched on Duolingo. Um, I want to see how long it takes me to get to level 10. Uh, my thought process was uh, two things. First of all, I've noticed a lot of people asking questions in, um, about Esperanto, for example, and I've kind of come to the conclusion that, that it's fairly easy to get to level 10 in Duolingo without really learning any grammar. That's the way it seems to me. I'm going to test that out. And the other thing is there was a comment uh, in one of the forums about getting to level 10 in Japanese, so I've decided I'm going to see what it will take me to get to level 10 in Japanese. By the way, my Japanese isn't very good. Tokyo kara Kyoto no densha wa doko desu ka? Japanese for English speakers. Um, course contributors. Here we go. Start course. I want to, let me go to, let me start. Here I got it. Cheat. All right. Neat. Neat is the one that looks like a knee. <laughs> Each knee san she go roku, roku. It's so ridiculous. Select the correct characters for ka and it tells you what it is. So it's that one. Came back to it in the afternoon, did maybe 45 minutes uh, testing out in Japanese, and reached level 10. I made it to level 10 in Duolingo in, uh, on the first day, and that's where I left at level 10. And it actually didn't take very much to get through to level 10. Um, I just had to do the uh, the hiragana lessons, which were very repetitive, and uh, yeah. So from the Duolingo owl to the wise old owl, how many licks does it take to get to the center of a Tootsie Pop? One, a two, a three. <coughs> the world may never know. From January 5th to March 2nd, I'd reached level 22, and then that's when Duolingo changed the uh, XP system, and I thought it over and I said, you know, for the amount of effort at 20 XP per day, it's going to take me 25 to 100 days to get to level 23, and then who knows how long to level 25, and uh, I decided that, uh, you know, Duolingo is a game. Uh, you can learn a lot on Duolingo, but really there's a lot of, with all the gamification, uh, decided it was fun while it lasted, and it was time to move on to other goals. So I will let you know how this is taking shape. Um, I do have my Spanish book. Um, I had made the goal to do two pages a day per this, and I've been spending so much time on Duolingo that I have fallen behind on that goal. So now I'm going to be able to focus on that and get caught up on, on doing my exercises out of that book. I appreciate your guys' encouragement, and uh, if you have any comments, any suggestions, love, uh, leave it in the comments. Over here I have some information on how I use Duolingo to learn Spanish, and over here I have some additional information about other methods that I use or plan on using. Make sure you leave a comment, let me know what you like to do to learn Spanish, and I'll see you at the next video. Then El hombre bebe agua. El hombre bebe agua. The man drinks water.